to take these off because they glare. But um, I wanted to pop on here really quickly. I know there's been so much like fear and anxiety and discouragement about coronavirus and all the things that are going on. But I also feel like there's so much good that we can find in it. And so I really wanted to, I want to add a lot of value here this week. And one of the things that, um, first of all, tell me, tell me as you're watching this or watching the replay, like, tell me where you're at. Like, tell me your school situation, your work situation. Like, are your kids home with you? Are you home with your kids? That type of thing. Um, and good morning, by the way. But, um, I, our kids are home. And so like, I don't know how long technically they're still like in their second week of spring break, which they were going to have anyways. But obviously like, I know that they're going to be home for a little while. Um, as far as my coaching job, obviously I do that from home anyway, so that doesn't really change anything. I will have to shift my work to make time for the kids and schooling and fun stuff. Um, but my teaching job where I teach a, a traditional class once a week, twice a week has been moved to online. So I don't go to an office. Um, I used to go two days a week and I don't anymore. I'm doing that from home. So that's our current situation. My husband is still working. They have a very small staff and he works at a pro-life um, clinic. And so they are really just taking clients who are abortion minded and working with them. So that's our situation, but we are officially homeschooling like so many of you other moms out there and just thrown off the deep end <laughs> in a good way. But I wanted to share with you how we're kind of organizing our day um, to make time for play, for devotion, for school, for me to work because I do still have to work. I still have to run my coaching business, which I love so much and I'm so thankful it's flexible around my family and I also have to do a little bit of work for my classes that I teach and they have to learn, right? Like we want them to learn. So the first thing that I did, excuse me, I'll twist around here, um, is I already had this planner that I wasn't using. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? I already had this planner that I wasn't really utilizing and it is for the whole year. So what I have been doing is each day, every night or every afternoon before the next day, I have just made out a list, like a schedule of what we want to accomplish the next day. So um, yesterday I was gone in the morning, so we had to do school in the afternoon and I made a list of my, my work activities. But yesterday afternoon, I made this list for today, Wednesday, March 18th, and I knew that you're done. Okay. Go brush your teeth. Okay. Um, I knew that they would eat, wake up around eight and have breakfast and we'll do a devotion. We're a little bit behind if I'm being honest. And then, um, this morning, what they did for me, the boys was, uh, on Sunday, they wrote down what they wanted to focus on each day as far as their schoolwork. And today was science. So I knew that they wanted to learn something science related. They love science and they have been studying photosynthesis and plant growth at school. So I just went online and I Googled like third, fourth grade, um, photosynthesis worksheets. And I found some things for them to do this morning. Um, they love word searches. Milo loves a word search. So there's a word search right there. There is also this like thrilled my teacher heart. This is a paraphrasing um, assignment on photosynthesis because guys, do you realize that students like at the college level don't know what plagiarism is? Like don't no at all. Like it's frightening. So this is something for them to read and to rewrite and paraphrase so that they, I can actually start to teach them now about plagiarism. <laughs> it's awesome. And then this is, um, a worksheet on trees, like the parts of a tree, how they grow, things like that. They can color it if they want to, and then we'll do that. And then this afternoon we have scheduled just a little science experiment that I found online as well. Um, as far as they will read 30 minutes a day while they read, I can read my personal development. Um, while they do, this is a workbook I just got at Sam's. It's for the fourth grade. And today we're going to do a little bit of, um, reading comprehension. So maybe like 30 minutes of that. So in total, they will probably be spending this week an hour in schooling, what I call schooling, um, reading, learning, doing worksheets, things like that. Uh, next week, we'll probably up that a little bit more because they will be here for a while. But we have it spread out so that they have 
work time and while they work i'll work but i'll be available for them if they need to ask questions and then split it up throughout the day so that they can move so they can play so they can um uh, you know just if they want to watch a little bit of tv i really am limiting tv time to the evening when matt is home um because i don't want them just to be like we're home let's watch tv because milo would sit in front of it all day long um and so like yeah that's what we're doing it's going to be nice today when matt gets home we're going to go outside and we're going to go play tennis not a lot of people on the tennis court so we feel like that social distancing and but it's also time for us to move and and get some energy out because these boys have to get energy out like rainy days are the worst um what is the name of that book this one is this the one you're talking about it's called comprehensive curriculum i bought it at sam's club for nine dollars so i love it it has um reading so like yesterday they worked on reading and vowel sounds and writing sentences, um, reading comprehension. It has, let's see, it has English. It also has writing. It has um, math, obviously. And then let's see if it has anything else. No, it has, no, that's it. So reading, writing, math, comprehension. Um, and yeah, that's it. So it's really good. Anything we do like science related or, you know, I can, if I want to look for math worksheets, they're really searchable, really easy to find online. Um, and then they also, they read for 30 minutes a day. They have to read from a book for 30 minutes a day. Um, so they just make that a habit as well. So that's what we're doing. That's how we're making the most of this time that we have been given. Um, I was chatting with a friend today, so a couple of friends about how, you know, I know it's scary and I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on, but honestly, there's so much good in, in what's happening too. And I really want to encourage you guys to look for that good um, and, and just keep going. Keep your eyes fixed on Christ. Keep looking for ways to serve other people through your words or your actions, um, to serve your family. And, and we're just going to come out on the other side and just trust God with what's happening, right? So if you just started watching, go back to the beginning and tell me where you're from, what your whole like life situation is right now. And I was just sharing some, some tips about how we're organizing our days at home right now. Um, I'm going to say a prayer with you guys. Uh, I want to say a prayer with you guys before I go because I've had a lot of people message me and ask me to pray for them. So I'm just going to trust that God takes this prayer and spreads it to, to whomever is watching and that it blesses you in some way. God, I thank you so much for the fact that you are God, that you are in control, that you are not clueless about anything that is going on. God, your word tells us over and over that that you are um, you are omniscient. You are all powerful. You are here even when we don't really realize it, God. And we thank you for that. And God, I pray that right now that you would please help us just to uh, keep our eyes fixed on you. Help us to stay rooted in your word and look to your promises, God, and not what the CDC promises or not even with government promises, God, but we know that you are the ultimate, ultimate power. You are the ultimate, ultimate decision maker, God, and please help us to put our trust in you. Um, God, help us to deal with things that come our way, good and bad, God, and I just pray that we would be a light, that we would be a voice of hope and peace and joy in this crazy world right now, God, and that, that people would come to know you as creator and savior and sustainer through this, God. Um, and I just pray for the people that are still working, God, that you would protect them, help them to, to be well, make their bodies strong. I pray for the mamas that are at home now with kids who haven't been before and that you would just work out their situations and help them to be patient with each other. And I pray that they would see the good and the joy in being together, God. And I just thank you so much for Jesus Christ. I thank you so much for salvation. I thank you so much that, that um, anyone who comes to him um, just in confessing sin and admitting our need for him can be saved and have that promise of eternity no matter what happens on this earth, God. I just thank you so much. In his name I pray. Amen.